So I just wanted to take a second to inform you that today we enter the homicide desk, the homicide division. We've been officially promoted and uh, I've heard that you get to see some crazy cases. So if you are excited for this chapter of our Let's Play here, stay tuned, sit back, relax, and uh, just let me know if you want more L.A. Noir. We are able to provide. Okay, I'm going to stop talking like that. I'm freaking myself out. But let's get into it. Six months later. So now we're getting story being tied to one another. The red lipstick murderer. Or murder. Music's already feeling different. Holy cow. All right, gentlemen, take your seats. Let's get this over before lunch. Clyde Rose of the Homicide Squad has decided to take early retirement. We will all miss Floyd and the steely edge he brought to his police work. The department has arranged a wee drink at the Galway Arms to quench the mighty thirst a man gets from 25 years of Wow. Floyd's departure leaves a place at the top table, and the chief has seen fit to promote Cole Phelps from burglary to the homicide desk. Stand up, Phelps. Take a chair. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're in the major leagues now, Sonny. Rusty Galloway, a fine lawman of the old school, will be taking you under his wing. Working with Rusty, huh? Your first case is the murder of a woman, found last night and bearing all the signs of the werewolf. Get out to the scene, lads. All right. Well, completing a desk unlocks the streets of LA, allowing you to patrol the city and attend street crimes. Each desk offers a new set of uh, street crimes and incidents to attend. All right. New person of interest and new objective. Do you have the address? It's been all over KGPL. It's off Temple Street between Belmont and Glendale. All right, so for the first episode, or um, not for the first episode, but for the first part of the case, we're going to drive there manually, and then we'll go ahead and do the fast traveling and How stuff. Which, by the way, the fast traveling I'd is amazing. The wheel. I finally tested out for sure on the last episode, and it works great. We also have a different car now. The Nash Super 600. Very nice. Still got them sirens, like a boss. You guys don't, you guys don't pay attention to the damn sirens. Eh. Let's better be careful. What happened to Rose? Parker wants the chief's job. Word is it's either going to be him or Thad. So they're both clearing the deck. So where does that leave you, Galloway? Leaves me saddled with a chump like you, Phelps. <laughs> I didn't ask for you, and I don't want you. So keep it to yourself. See if you can learn something about seeing how a real cop operates. This guy's what a little do you feisty. What the werewolf? The Dahlia. The Daily News came out calling him the werewolf killer. The examiner came up with the Black Dahlia. Are you any closer to catching him? Not a chance. Six months and hundreds of guys running down leads, and we got nothing. You don't think this has anything to do with it? No, I don't. Ninety percent of murders are domestic, Phelps. Some guy gets into a beef with his wife, he takes it too far. This will be the same. But cutting someone in half and leaving them off the sidewalk, that's a one-off. Why so many women this year? Because of the war. You should know that. Guy gets to kill people every day in combat. Comes home, he's expected to take lip from his wife. What do you think's gonna happen? It's that simple. Like I said, most of the time it is. Interesting. Things are already getting kind of feisty. Sorry guys, I have to I have to drive. I cannot wait for a damn red light. I don't know how these NPCs do it, but I can do it. Take the next right. Taking the next right. Here we go. Of course, of course! This guy would turn right hey, as well. On. Keep on going. Oh, we're actually driving pretty far now too. I'm getting exposed for my terrible driving skills. Just spit all over the place. 
keep Take going. Next right. Yep, we're gonna keep going straight up. Here it is. Oh. And this is the park where she got murdered. What about this guy's face? How about a scoop for the examiner, Galloway? You could use some good press. Another tramp, another message. Is the werewolf back in business, boys? Do you have a mother asshole? A sister? How about showing some respect for this poor woman? Let us do our job, and Detective Galloway will give you a statement later. He's good, Rusty. He even <laughs> sounds genuine. That's Phelps, guys. The war hero. Defending the honor of murdered humps. You're used to it, Phelps. Moving along, guys. You got your pictures, you got your headlines. Now scram. Get out of here. Damn freaking press. The media. All over this shit. Oh, we got some footprints. They just showed everything. They, they just literally showed everything. Strollman, this your beat? Yes, sir. Well, part of it. Kids park here. They use it like a lover's lane. It's a working neighborhood. Some trouble, but nothing like this. It's uh, known locally as the Morgues. You were first on the scene? Yes, detective. No one's disturbed the body? No, sir. We cleared out them vulture reporters so Pinker in the corner could work. They're waiting to talk to you. Go house to house and see what you come up with. Oh, God. All right. Well, let's go ahead and check out some of the clues. Here we go. First, the purse. Don't even want to get near the body just yet. We're going to start investigating. This is their brush. Don't think that's going to have any relevancy to the case. Maybe the purse will have some uh, informative... Victim's bag? Yeah, why would they leave the... Well, we've got a key. Maybe we can find out what vehicle it was. The red lipstick. Further investigate the object. Looks brand new. Can't be the one used on the body. Well, we haven't really looked at the body just yet, so... And apparently the keys are not uh, interactable, so... This is evidence A. Evidence B. Looks like some kind of puzzle or parlor game. Really? Oh, I see what's going on here. Very nice. What if I do this? I do that. And then I do this. Perfect. Uh, actually, no, wait. We're missing... We are missing this over here. Hold on. I thought I had it right. I am an idiot. Yes, I am. It's a lighter. Property of Bomba Club. Bob. Why steal a table lighter? So we're definitely gonna have to investigate the Bomba Club. Well, that's interesting. Okay, this is C. The footprints. What can you tell me about the shoe prints? Men's size eight. size eight. Pinker lifted impressions for me to compare back at the lab. Has the scene been secured? Patrolman Houlihan saw to it. The victim's personal effects are still where they fell. Cause of death? It could be the head injuries. She has been badly stalked. Dude, they've murdered. Jesus. I'll, I'll know for sure in an hour. They messed her body up. Okay. She's kind of blue to the. What about this wound on the finger? Something removed. Oh, a ring. Most a likely. ring. I assume it was taken post mortem. What caused the blunt force injury to the face? Could be anything from a baseball bat to a lug wrench. I'll have more details after the autopsy. Oof! Do they beat her up, bro? Hmm. Interesting. Fuck BD. What does the writing on the victim mean? BD. Black Dahlia? Black X? Your guess is as good as mine. Could be something to it, or it could be the killers trying to throw you off the scent. Either way, I'll run tests on the lipstick. Any idea of the time of death? From the temperature, I'd say after midnight. I'll confirm with you later. We're off to the Bomba. 
which is the only pretty much the only piece of evidence that we got from this until we get results back from the autopsy let's go man move it along is this our, that's not our car man where's our car at here it is <laughs> i am going crazy okay i'm gonna let this man drive your partner can i drive at this time really okay well well aren't you a lazy bastard Bomba club, nightclub, and bar frequented by murder victim. Oh, this is gonna be crazy cool, man. This is already like real shit. It's murders. Murderers, I tell ya. You will pay for your for your sins, you disgusting filth. This is not the way you drive in this game, by the way. I am an absolute crazy maniac. The werewolf? For my money, a copycat. We can't rule it out. We need to work the evidence. Yeah, it'd love that, wouldn't you? A big head to hang on your wall. The caller of the decade. We've been working evidence on BD case for six months and got nothing. There's a difference, Russ. Oh, yeah? I just started working it today. Okay, <laughs> That's right. What's more likely? The werewolf comes back around, leaving us a note on a corpse? He clearly has a thing for power. Power over women. Why not power over the police department as well? Let me finish, Phelps. A guy opens his mouth again after six months of stoom. Or some opportunist who's been reading about the BD figures, he'll rip off the MO and get himself a freebie. That's not totally fantastical. You know, the examiner in the Daily News might be good at coming up with monikers, but they're terrible for police work. There's a reason we didn't get the son of a bitch after the short murder it was them, locusts. Where do you think the werewolf killer is now? Uh, dead by his own hand, stationed somewhere else with the armed forces. San Quentin, another town, another country, who knows? So Phelps, I understand you want to turn this into a big case, but it doesn't work like that, all right? A case will come and find you. you can't make it something it ain't, you understand? So you don't think the werewolf has continued to operate in the Los Angeles area? No chance, he would have found me. The Bomba Club, 10, 18 a.m. All right, everybody, listen up. We got a couple of Gentlemen, questions here. What can I get you? Shit. Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Were you working here last night? Yes. How can I help, officer? You can start with your name. Garrett Mason. You're the regular bartender on nights? I'm a temporary barman. I work for an agency. I fill in at bars across town. Do you remember a woman who came in here last night? Uh, five feet seven, about 110 pounds, blonde hair, about 40 years of age. You mean Celine Henry? Yes. Do you know anything about her? I don't. But the owner, Mr. McCall, serves her most nights. Would you like to speak to him? I would. He sits at the back of the club. Where's the hibiscus? You can't miss him. Is there anything else? Fly away, Phelps. I'll stay here. I'm a little parched. Pour me three fingers of rye. All right, well, you're going to drink on the job? How convenient. Sam has taken me to Palm Springs for the week. Interesting. You want a tip? Refill my coffee next time, honey. Detective Phelps, LAPD. We're investigating the murder of Celine Henry. You Do you know her? Pay for that? Celine? Oh, Christ. Christ. That's the spirit. Sure I know her. She and I and Jacob, her husband, we go way back. She was here last night? Sure, she's a regular. Jacob Henry, is new person of interest. Was a lovely woman. Maybe, maybe your husband murdered her. Suspect seen with victim. Was Mrs. Henry here with anyone last night? Not at first. Celine already had quite a head start. But she attracted attention? Certainly. A few gentlemen became very enamored with her and her stories. One guy in particular. Okay, well, I mean, that's fair enough. You know him? No. He's been in a couple of times. Did they leave together? Yes, at around 11. If it helps, I made the guy's license plate. A waitress. He made his license plate. To I think this could be a great help, sir. Thank you. 2B8899. This is actually good help. 
I'm going to call that in and see what vehicle or what name that's under. So, ring stolen from the victim. Mrs. Henry appeared to be missing a ring torn from her finger, but not her wedding finger. Celine always wore a red garnet ring on the large side. Larger than life, like Celine herself. Did she have it a long time? Sure. Since way back in her flying days. Kind of Did her, her husband buy it for her? No, it was, uh, it was before Jacob. Before Jacob. Why do I feel like this guy was in love with her? This is something you're not telling me. I think you know where the ring came from, and I think you're going to tell me. Okay. I bought I knew years it. ago. <laughs> I carried a torch for Selene in those days. Guess I always have. Her old man never knew about it. Knowledge of the husband. You know the husband? Sure, I know Jacob. He was in the Corps. He met Celine on a furlough and married her when the war was finished. He put up with a load of shit. Hmm. Do you think he killed his wife? No. No, not in my opinion. Did you see that hard swallow? So if it wasn't Jacob, then you probably let her out of here with the guy who killed her. How do you feel about that? Stole the attitude, will ya? I tried to get on to Jacob. I rang him up. Asked him to come pick her up, like usual. But he refused. And she picked some night to push him over the edge. I rang him back around 11.30, but... What? Got no answer. What do I feel like Jacob killed her? Thanks, Mr. McColl. You've been a big help. You got him all One right, boys. Thing. Would you have an address for Celine? 142 North Union Avenue. God knows I had to send her home in enough cabs to remember that. Investigate Celine Henry's residence. Okay, so we're definitely going to have to get over there. But before we do, let's get out of here. We're going to have to make a phone call. Hey, what's the hurry? My stool was just starting to warm up nicely. Hmm, hold on. Where's that goddamn waitress? What is this? Incidental. Let's check this. Can we check, uh... Maybe it's for the phone. Maybe that's why it's ringing for the phone. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. By the end of this playthrough, I'm gonna remember his own How damn badge number. Objective? 1247. I need a registered owner on a license plate, 2boy8899. Yes, detective. I'll need to contact the DMV. Shall I relay the details via KGPL? Please. Thanks for your help. I guess let's just head over to Henry's. We're gonna go this way. Head right. You find the booze helps you get through a working day? Sharpens my investigatory instincts, <laughs> Phelps. Take a left. A smart lawyer might use that to throw out anything you collect today. A smart man might know it's unwise to stand between the patient and his medicine. It's left at the next intersection. <laughs> as long as you're not falling over, Rusty, I'll let it slide. <laughs> That's mighty kind of you, Phelps. You know, you picked the wrong job if a healthy thirst offends you, Cole. We owe it to this city to do the best we can in this position. As homicide detectives, that responsibility is all the more serious. Always the politician. It's not political, it's practical. Maybe the men combing Hollywood Boulevard after the Elizabeth Short murder were more interested in sniffing out booze than the clues that would have led to her killer. Yeah, well, if only you'd been there, choir boy. Betty Short would be alive, the Japs would have spared Pearl Harbor, our ancestors wouldn't have tasted the forbidden fruit. Minor syntactical error, Detective Galloway. I never claimed to be able to prevent crimes. I only suggested a proficiency in solving them. Guess that's the drink slowing you down. Oh my god, brother, oh brother. It's worse than I could ever have imagined. <laughs> Any central unit, car 16 L reports upon I hate when I have to drive somewhere and I make the wrong turn and I come up against the freaking dead end. It's the cause for like 80% of my crashes here in this game, okay? Just saying. I'm gonna turn right here. 
turn right here. All right, full speed ahead, guys. Full speed ahead. Don't crash. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Kind of, kind of, sort of scratched my car there on the little turn, but uh, good enough. Around to the right. Henry's residence, 10:48 a.m. Let's check out Henry's residence. Interesting. We do have a new fit too. Just realized that. I'll try the back door. Wait here a second. Well, he's gone. Side window's been jimmied. Looks like somebody's creeped the joint. Hmm. All right, time to start investigating. Oh, this is going to be a lot of props here. Ooh. Size, Size nine. nine. Above average for a lady. Wasn't she a size eight? The murder? The the victim? Okay. I'm gonna try and like inspect things that kinda make a little bit more sense. Glass. Shattered glass. Burglar used the pry bar. Why did you kick the door in? <laughs> you think I'm gonna climb through a broken window in a thirty dollar suit. You got another thing coming, Buster. <laughs> Back then, $30 was a lot more than it is nowadays. Just so you guys know. I don't know what it would be, but we have a note right here. <sighs> if you sober up, you can find me at the apartment, so too. and Jacob are obviously having problems. It speaks to motive. 1050 Huntley Drive. Jacob could give us something to go on. Hmm. One of my exes drank like this, you'd be feeling the back of my hand. Call in burglary and get technical services out here. I'll talk to the neighbors. Don't take all day about it, Phelps. I'll get nasty when I'm thirsty. Canvas the neighbors. Okay, let's Galloway, see. Galloway, homicide, badge number 564. Requesting technical services for a suspected 459 at 142 North Union. Hold up, hold up. I thought I heard uh, some sort of chime. Back there in the hallway. Ooh. In the master bedroom. Let's see. They had something to drink, it seems. Okay. How about over here? Hmm. Brush? I don't think so. Nope. What else we got here? Picture. A regular Amelia Earhart per day. The ring looks distinctive. Amelia Earhart. This is, they actually made a skin uh, after her in Fortnite. <laughs> see, is there a ring in here? Gone. Tiffany, the rest of the stuff is junk. Might explain the missing ring. Okay, so the day. Well, that could have been the ring that the, the, that could have been the same ring they took from the body. From the victim's body. Hold on, there's got to be something else here. Every time I pass by here, I hear a chime. Let's see, can we interact with anything else? No. God damn it.
what the fuck was that? Was that me? Shit. All right, here we go. Another room. Which we have yet not investigated. What is this? Paragl oh. Aren't those the same? I doubt it. No? Okay. Seems like the same ones in the picture. Ow. Looking for clues. No more clues here. Oh, look. Another newspaper. Family burnt to death. Cops say house fire. Okay, let's see what this is all about. You said I had to go back, doctor. The fires are cathartic. They allow you to confront your past. You said the house would be empty. Are you taking the medication I have prescribed? You said the house would be empty. I heard them screaming. The circumstances were unfortunate. My colleagues had made all the necessary arrangements. You said the house would be empty. You're killing me. The deaths were unfortunate. But you have dealt with death before. You said the house would be empty! How can I find peace? Holy crap. That doctor's a scumbag. Alright, let's go to the back. See where our neighbor is. Oh, here's the neighbor. Hello there, neighbor. <laughs> wasn't safe around here anymore. LAPD, are you acquainted with Celine Henry, Miss Horgan? Jennifer Horgan. I've known Celine for more than ten years. Our children grew up together. What's going on, officer? Did you see Mrs. Henry go out last night? Well, I'm no busybody, you understand, but Celine had been drinking, and she and poor, long-suffering Jacob had a terrible row. I think Jacob may have given her a black eye. He stormed out and she went back inside. Did he come back? No. Celine was listening to music and shouting until she left around 10 p.m. She was very drunk to have been driving. But she is not the sort of person you can stop from doing something when her dander is up. What is this about, officer? Is Celine all right? I'm afraid Mrs. Henry has been murdered, ma'am. Murdered? Oh, my God. I'm afraid I need to go and, and sit down. Bro, the acting is great. <laughs> Marital problems. So her and her husband obviously had issues. As you can see, the note said so itself. Hmm. I guess, let me see if we have any other POIs. Henry's apartment. All right, let's go to Henry's apartment. Hopefully my partner could drive there this time around. Let's see what Jacob has to say for himself. I don't think Jacob is our man, but we should see what he has to say. Here we go. Jacob Henry had a violent argument with his wife last night. He's looking more and more likely. Uh, for my money, the broad keeps the house looking like that, so he probably deserved it. The skipper says bring him in. Keep the hats off our backs for a while. Fine by me. So it ain't the werewolf killer after all. Good to see you've come to your senses, Cole. I always said work the evidence. I only stipulated a connection to the BD killer as an avenue of investigation we should leave open. And as far as I'm concerned, it still is. Jacob Henry's okay, apartment. Bro, we go in hard. You follow my lead. Got the gun out. proportions in this game of like buildings and stuff and you jacob henry yeah who's asking lapd you're under arrest for the murder of your wife celine henry murder celine save the dramatics oh, oh for my RKO, god pal you got bigger problems what the hell are you talking about you, you come in here you, you tell me that celine is take a seat mr henry she's... we're gonna have a look around uh, then we'll talk jesus I'm sorry. I, uh, 
I don't think it was him. I don't think at all. I get even the slightest hint that you're a flight risk, pal. <laughs> Let's see what we have here. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, this is this is genius right here. <laughs> Thanks for the offer. About my wife. Thanks for the offer. Need to need you to do something about my wife. Oh. The oldest problem there is. What to do about the old lady? That's that is a note indeed. That is very very suspicious, my friend. What do we got in here? My boy was packing up, packing the luggage. Huh? Come in here thinking you were freaking innocent and size 11. Oh no, size, size 11s. Wait a minute. I I I thought the size Okay, so when we went to the apartment, the other house and she had a size 9, I compared it to size 8, but size 8 was was the size of the murderer. And this is size 11, so it doesn't add up to him. It can't be him then. Unless he shrunk his feet to murder his wife, then it's not him. But, good to know we've got our clues all piled up together. Let's talk to homeboy here. Jacob Henry, brown eyes, brown hair, 45, male husband of murder victim, Celine Henry. Okay, movements of victim. So who could have killed Celine? Where did she go last night, Jacob? A bar, I suppose. Look, I don't know. How do you not know? Literally. You know where she went, Jacob. You're lying. Why would I help you if you keep lying to me? Look, I'm telling you, I don't know. Okay. You want to play rough? Okay. Let's see here. We have to go for... We do have another thing that could be for the accusation here. I'm going to go with the lighter first. We know she went to the Bomba Club. The bartender there. He, he calls me if things are getting out of hand, and I go and I bring her home. She called me last hmm. night. I said no. Phone rang a couple more times after that. I ignored it. I'm going to have to live with that. When did you last see your wife, Mr. Henry? Last night. Uh, I went to see her. We talked. Things got a little out of hand. I left. Okay. That's fair. You don't remember what time you last saw your wife alive? Look. I'm sorry. I left. Maybe 9 p.m. Might have been a little later, but right around nine. Motive for murder. Why did you kill her, Jacob? Things will go better if you come clean about it. That's a lousy thing to say. I never gave up on my wife. Really? How about that note that you have there? Let's see. The note said, death threat notes, impressions from notes written by Jacob Henry concerning with wife Celine. I think I'm going to accuse him again. I don't believe you, Jacob. I think you didn't have the guts to do it yourself, so you had someone else do it. You want to back that up with something, big mouth? Huh? 
I felt, I, I don't know, like, I feel like he's innocent, but I also feel like he probably put a hit on her. Because this note right here says, I need to do something about my wife or whatever the hell it was that it said. The note by the phone suggests you meant her harm. You want the truth? The truth is I was sick to death of her. I was trying to have her committed. We're still going to need you to come downtown, Mr. Henry. We can get this all down on paper, Jacob. How you got fed up with your wife and how you figured killing her would bury all your troubles. Kill my own wife? She was a loss in a trap and you just couldn't stand it anymore. Shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> so now you're going to tell me you loved her? Ah, the DA goes all gooey over remorse, Jacob. Oh! <laughs> oh! Okay. Wait, wait, how am I... How am I supposed to fight? I forgot... I forgot how to fucking fight! What's this bunker? You're awful. Dude! Bro! <laughs> how do we fight again? Wait a minute, god damn it! Fuck! <laughs> enough is enough, Mr. Henry! Stop it! Jeez! My partner just got his ass kicked, but so still did we. Unfortunately for my partner, he wasn't able to respawn. Car dispatch and check for messages. I'll keep old slugger here, company. Bro, you just got your ass kicked, uh, buddy old pal. All right, so let's call it in. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, detective? I need a patrol unit to transport a suspect back to Central. Certainly, detective. You have a message from the coroner. Do you wish to be put through? Yes, ma'am. Carruthers. It's Phelps. I've completed the autopsy. Several wounds to the head from a blunt metal instrument. The closest match would be a socket wrench handle. So the cause of death was the blunt... No, the blows to the head, surprisingly, were not fatal. Hmm. Death was from hemorrhage and shock from the fractured ribs and multiple injuries caused by the stomping. Anything else? Wow. He's some kind of sex fiend. The tissues of the anus were bruised about one-eighth of an inch, but no trace of semen in the anus, vagina, or stomach. Thanks, Doc. Holy shit. Operator, give me R and I. She was getting anal. Any word on an owner for that vehicle? License was 2-boy-8899. Yes, detective. <laughs> the plate belongs to a brown 1936 Pontiac. Registered owner is one Alonzo Mendez of 402 South Fremont Street, apartment 16. Thanks. Any other messages? One, detective. From Captain Donnelly. He wants any and all suspects returned to Central. Interviews to be set up immediately. Got it. We're coming in. This is crazy, bro. We're gonna head over to the police station just so we can get this whole scenario going on. This um, this guy Curtis might give us more info before we head over to Mendes. Maybe if he had been a little firmer in the beginning, he wouldn't be in this situation now. I imagine that Neanderthal routine is a big hit with the ladies, Galloway. Women love me, Phelps. I have no complexity. They know exactly what they're gonna get. We have a firm lead, Captain. Are you questioning my judgment, Cole Phelps? No, sir. Good. I thought not. Jacob Henry is a subsister pushed around by his wife. I think with the right kind of persuasion, he might be prepared to seek absolution. Are you prepared to show him the error of his ways, young Phelps? I don't think he's our man. Galloway agrees with me. Don't drag me into this. Rusty is a practical policeman. A bird in hand is always worth two in the bush. Let's liberate a confession from poor Jacob and the public will sleep easier tonight. Run along now, folks. I've warmed them up nicely for you. Yeah, I, like, not necessarily that he's guilty, but I feel like he knows things that he's not telling us.
Doesn't look good, Jacob. You're in a big jam here. You lie to me, and I can't help you out. Do you understand me? Yes. Access to murder weapon. What do you do for work, Jacob? I'm a mechanic. Engines, differentials, transmissions, that kind of stuff. So you have access to tools? Yes, I do. Your wife was brutally beaten with a socket wrench handle, then stomped to death. How do you think that looks, Jacob? I, I was home in bed. You're full of shit, Jacob. The truth is you hated that bitch. You followed her and dragged her into the car and then took her out to the moors. She woke up and you smashed her face in with a socket wrench. No. No, 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 no. And then you stomped no. her. You stomped her because she's a drunken whore and she treated you like shit. You stomped her for all the years you had to take it. You stomped her because you are such a weak fucking sister, Jacob, and you wanted to erase all memory of it. Go on. Try to deny it. I was at home. I should have gone to her at the bar, but I didn't. You can't prove I wasn't home. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. I'm gonna go for this one. I can. The bar owner, McCall, gave you up. He called your house right at the time that someone was smashing Celine's skull in and got no answer. If we find that socket wrench, you're gonna fry. Get it off your chest. Tell me you killed her. I killed her, all right. I killed her dreams. Oh, shit. I thought he did. She was an aviator. Famous in her day, flying around up there like a bird. But she never wanted to come back down. You know, my pop was a sod farmer, dirt poor. I joined the Corps, trained to be a mechanic. I did better than my father did. I worked hard for it. It's all you can ask of a man. But Celine, she never wanted to come down from the clouds. She wanted everything I couldn't give her. All I had was security. That was never mm -hmm. going to be enough. It's kind of sad. Everything points to you. What does Tex mean, Jacob? I, I don't know what you're talking about. I think he's telling the truth. I need a reason to believe you, Jacob. You want a confession? That's what you want? That's exactly what we want. Seems to me there are two types of marriages. First, where the couple love each other equally and everything's roses. And then there's the other. Where one person loves the other more than life itself and always puts them first. Chumps like me. Who love them no matter what, no matter how badly they behave. That's it. That's my confession. I love my wife. And I'll take any test you got to prove it. Damn. Deterioration of marriage. Your marriage was over. You took her in and she threw it back in your face. You didn't go over there to hurt her. It just got out of hand. It's not how it was. Uh, well, you did go over there and there was wait yes 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 you're lying jacob it was falling apart and things got violent i'm not lying i'm telling you how it was where is it right here it says neighbor yep this is it jenny horgan says you blackened her eye it's all right jacob the da will understand in your shoes i would have done exactly the same <laughs> i hit her all right I'm not proud of it, but she was coming at me with a frying pan. What would you do? I took it for years, but sometimes a man can only take so much. Okay, well, I mean... Hey, 1940s, what can you say? Missing jewelry. The Why ring. Why did you break into your wife's house, Jacob? Why steal the ring? What? What are you talking about? I've got a key. Why would I need to break in? Also, he wasn't... It has to be Alvarez or Mendez. It has to be Mendez. It has to be Mendez. You took the ring because you found out who gave it to her. What are you talking about? Her prized garnet ring given to her by her old boyfriend, Dick McCall. I never knew that. <laughs> I lived with that woman for three years and I never knew that. 
In that case, I think you should be talking to Dick McCall. We'll do the detective work, Lunkhead. Just answer the questions. I'll see what I can do for you, Jacob. We got him all right, boys. Let's, Let's go. Phelps. You mm. failed me, mm. son. We have another lead, Captain. This guy Mendez could be our man. I hope so, Phelps. I really hope so. I'm deeply disturbed by your style of police work. What the hell, dude? We got all the answers right, you punk. Go eat me some Lucky Charms, eh? We can still pull down a conviction for the skipper if we chase down this Mendez guy. All right, let's... You're behind the wheel. And where exactly are we going? I said over there. Go check up on Mendez. That's where we're freaking going, bro. <laughs> Alonzo Mendez. Sound like a man who moonlights as the werewolf? Don't sound like a man I'd let my daughter anywhere near. You've got a daughter. Spend enough time drinking, Cole, you'll find yourself with any number of things you don't want when you're sober. So that's why you never sober up. Exactly. Mendez's apartment. What was the apartment number? Somebody just left. Fourth floor. Fourth floor, apartment 16. I think he just dipped. I heard a noise. I think he just dipped. Here we go. 14. 13. 15, 16, straight Don't ahead. Don't bother knocking. Just kick the door in. Take a look around and see what you can find. Interesting. Very interesting. Well, that's the hat. Similar to the one in the intro. Where the guy murdered the lady. So that's interesting. Let's check, let's check out the kitchen. No, irrelevant to the case. What do we got here? Phone. We got another room here. Not openable. This room right here. Yep, he dipped. He freaking dipped right through here. A gun. It doesn't tell me anything. Well, it does tell you he's a fucking d d lunatic. Shoe size. Gotta get these to Ray. Size eights could help place Mendez at the scene. Oh yeah. Oh freaking yeah. Oh. Oh. Red lipstick. It's him. Oh, that's him. Hundred percent. Brothers could match the color and brand of the body. Hundred percent. And the blunt force weapon. Oh. Consistent with Celine's injuries, and the blood can be typed. Oh. We have the murder weapon. We better get Pinker down here. Why keep it? Why not throw it away? Think these clowns are geniuses? Thank your stars you caught a break. Captain Donald would begin to like you. Hey, what gives? LAPD, you're under arrest. Do not lose that son of a bitch. I'll go get our wheels. Oh. Mendez stop right there. Oh, you're the one that gave her anal and then killed her? Huh, you Hispanic naughty boy? I know where you're coming from. But God damn it, you shouldn't have killed her. You could have done everything else but the killing part. Totally fine by me. But how dare you? You don't need to do this, Alonzo. Woo! Oh, he's gonna get in that car. Get in and drive. There we go. Get out the way, people. Get out the way. I'm gonna mash this guy's wheels in. Hit him, Cole. Oh. Spin him out. Can you wait up? <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm not just horsing around here. You know that, right? 
I've got an idea. Get him next to my window, Cole. Keep me alongside his vehicle, and I'll stop this son of a bitch. Yeah, you're going to shoot off his tires? Perfect. All right. Bells, you got to get me closer. Hold on, man. No, no, no. Put me in. Ooh. Is that close Hit enough? It. Clean this asshole off the road. You're under arrest for the murder of Celine Henry. Show me your hands. Oh, he gone. Oh, he gone. Naughty boy. That was awesome. Our first official case in the homicide desk, homicide department. I think we're passing with flying cutters. I ain't saying a goddamn thing. You don't have to. You're guilty as shit. All three pieces of evidence. The lipstick, the shoes, and the tool. You did a grand job, lads. Phelps, that's quite a way to acquit yourself in your first outing as a homicide investigator. It seems the city has a new and vengeful guardian. Considering the evidence against your suspect and the thoroughness with which a report was compiled, I foresee a safe passage through the courts and the DA agrees with me. Brutality on a scale such as this deserves retribution. The people and the press of this city demand it. It's like, oh uh, yeah, I don't have a drink in my hands. Just gonna pass. Wow, dude, homicide is a different, different animal. 19 clues found too. Jacob Henry is left to mourn while Mendes awaits in lockup for a visit from the DA. Case closed. Ladies and gentlemen, first homicide was amazing. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave it a like writing, like, right, like rating if you want more LA Noir here on the channel. And I hope to see you guys on the next episode. All right. Peace out.